Hello, everybody. I'm going to say one word, discipline. Now, what did that invoke in you? It could be fear, um, anxiety, or it could just be um, all out ugh. Either way, I am posting this video because it is day 14 and a living healthy challenge that I have for myself. So this is something that I'm going to be consistently doing and I wanted to post weekly so that I can leave and keep myself accountable. So I have notes so I can stay on track. So this is called Focus Forth. This is all about consistency. And as if you can see my t-shirt, it says 2021 execution. The goal is to finish, finish, finish. If you start, you need to finish is what it says. If you start, finish. So the reason why I wanted to do that is I am posting for myself so that when I look back, I can see if I kept what I said I was going to do for myself. And I'm doing this as an encouragement to you if you want to join and journey along with me and do something for yourself for the end of the quarter, which started September 1st, for you to be able to focus on a goal or something that you want to do. It could be one thing and that you would be consistent and disciplined to do that. So we're a minute in and I'm giving myself a timeline. So this is what it's all about. So let me get to my real notes. So I started a five week online workout challenge after interviewing Nick B. Fit. Um, there was a video that I had and I'll either link it below, uh, link it above or then I'll link it below. So I am actually in my fourth week. And for me, I need to give the measurements and the data that shows and supports what I have done because it'll be easy for me to say what I want to do and not do it if I don't commit to doing it. I took an assessment, the Extreme Execution Assessment by Eric Thomas's company through Eric Thomas's company. And I'll leave that description in the box below I'll leave that in the description box below as well. And what I found out was that I was a, a, a high I. What that simply means is my natural style. And what I realized is that um, after talking to one of his coaches, for me, the importance of having discipline is something that I must choose. I know everyone needs to have discipline, but for my natural style, it's easier for me to just want to be spontaneous but when I need to focus and when I need to execute and when I need to complete what I say that I will complete discipline is key so I'm giving myself this live healthy challenge and what this is is that simply and I'm looking down at my notes so um again I'm in the fourth week of a five-week workout online and then my live healthy challenge is simply starting um i started on september 1st so i'm 14 days in and i wanted to give some stats so again so i can record it for myself i've been recording daily things that i want to um live healthy in so with that being said there are two questions that i ask myself one in the morning and one in the evening it simply is in the morning how will i live healthy today in the following areas and i have six areas the areas are emotional financial physical, relational, spiritual, uh, vocational, or career. And in the evening, I ask myself, how did I live healthy in the following areas? And again, the six areas. It's a simple question that I ask myself in the morning and in the evening. The whole goal is to focus on what I say I, I want it to accomplish and to reflect to see if I achieve what I want it to. And then on the next page, I have a final question is um, that I ask myself is what will I need to do differently um, to live healthy? What will I need to do differently to live healthy tomorrow? And I write that out. I also have a note section and the declarations and the affirmations. And then for myself, I put my vitamins and supplements that I am committing to taking every day. So that, again, this is part of my living healthy challenge. The reason why I am sharing this with you, because I, um, I don't have to pay anyone to be disciplined. I do have people, um, coaches and, well, I say coaches. I have people that I do uh, look to and I pay uh, for services for this health coach. Um, 
well, a fitness coach that is very helpful to me. But when I looked at it for what it was for me, um, getting up early, um, doing what I say I will do is something that is completely my responsibility. And sometimes it's easier to say that there are so many excuses as to why I'm not doing what I'm doing. However, what I have learned in my life and what I have observed, I'm not sure if you can attest to the same thing, that when you uh, put your mind to do something and when you accomplish something that is meaningful to you or that may be a small thing to yourself, but you accomplish it, there's a confidence that comes with that. So the Live Healthy Challenge is simply for me to be consistent in my daily routine. I have an early morning routine. Also to fill out these challenges for myself each day. Um, it's something special that I know that focusing on will help me move towards the living healthiness. And that's a word, living healthy in these six areas. So the reason why I wanted to post today is because this is my 14th day and it would be easy for me to just overlook and pretend that um, I can do this without the accountability. So I'm being accountability to myself and whoever may watch this video. Even if no one watches the video, what I decided and what I thought about was, Jasmine, what would it look like if at the end of December you have... 13 weeks because I counted the weeks 13 weeks of videos that you posted and that you acknowledged what you wanted to do and you accomplished that what that means internally for me is more than any dollar amount that I could ever um, put out there so if you want to uh, take this challenge with me and you want this form I had somebody from Fiverr create it because um it's just helpful for me to have someone else do something that I can't do um, quickly. So send me an email and I will send it out to you. And what I'm doing for myself that really is helping me is I'm doing everything in seven day increments. Because if I look at right now to the end of December, it'll be like, whoa, that's a lot. But I'm doing it for seven days. So every seven days. So on the 21st, I'm going to post my progress on the 28th so every seven days and it's been helpful so i print out 14 pages of the form and then every seven days is when i will post to um, put up my progress also there is a special video that i am linking in here and it's by eric thomas he's been very instrumental and he's been known or been called the indisputable number one number one motivational speaker um, but what I like about him is that he's not simply about motivating people to make you feel better he really challenges you to change and he talks about discipline so I am going to link a video it's about seven minutes about discipline and then I'm looking at my notes because I'm not trying to impress anybody I am really doing this so that I can really finish that's the final thing I've been talking about or I stated a stated that I took this extreme um, execution assessment. So I'm going to link that in the description box. I may have said that, but if I haven't, this is an assessment that um, Eric Thomas's company, again, has put out for the public and it's very, very helpful. So um, I'm going to invite you to take it, invite your, um, your friends, your family, people around you, your team to take it as well. And I'm giving myself a, a time limit on this. So again, this is Jasmine. This is a living healthy challenge that I am giving myself. And I'm inviting you to come in to give yourself that challenge as well. From now, whenever you look at this video until the end of the year, if it's past 2021, then we'll think about something else. But until then, I want you to live healthy. And I want you to know that you're worth living healthy and making the daily decisions to do it so until next week have a great day and remember 2021 your goals finish 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 if you start finish thanks everybody have a great one